Welcome to PreMath. In this video, we have got this uh, green uh, shaded region uh, fully confined uh, inside uh, this uh, square OACE. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, line segment uh, AB is uh, 9 units, whereas uh, this uh, line segment uh, DE is uh, 6 units. And furthermore, uh, this uh, green region is restricted uh, between uh, this uh, yellow quarter circle and this uh, blue right triangle. And this uh, point P is the point of uh, tangency. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region, this area and uh, this area as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's make an observation. We can see the green region area is equal to the area of this square OACE minus the area of this blue triangle BCD minus the area of this uh, yellow quarter circle and now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, square uh, OACE the area of this uh, blue right triangle uh, BCD and uh, the area of this yellow quarter circle uh, as well before we could figure out the area of this uh, green shaded region so therefore, in order to do all these uh, calculations, uh, we must uh, figure out the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle first. Let's assume the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle is lowercase r. Likewise, this is going to be lowercase uh, r as well. And since we are dealing with this uh, square OACE, so therefore uh, all these uh, side lengths uh, are uh, lowercase uh, r. And here's our next step. Let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, BD is a tangent to this uh, quarter circle at this point uh, P. And now let's recall uh, the two tangent theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments uh, are drawn to one circle from the same uh, external point, uh, then they are uh, congruent, as you can see in this uh, diagram. So therefore, uh, this line segment is going to be congruent to this uh, line segment. And in our case, uh, this uh, line uh, segment uh, is going to be congruent to this uh, line segment. If this line segment is 6, uh, then this line segment has got to be 6 as well. And likewise, uh, these are uh, two tangents uh, as well over here. If this line segment is uh, 9, then this line segment is going to be congruent and it's going to be 9 uh, units as well. So therefore, uh, this uh, total uh, length uh, BD is going to be the sum of these uh, two individual numbers. Uh, 9 plus 6 is going to make uh, 15. So therefore, our line segment uh, BD turns out to be 15 units. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, is uh, R and this uh, side length uh, is uh, 9. So therefore, uh, this uh, side length has got to be R minus uh, 9 and likewise uh, this whole uh, side length uh, is uh, r and this side length uh, is uh, 6 so therefore uh, this side length has got to be r minus uh, 6 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, b c d which is our blue triangle whose uh, side lengths are r minus 9 r minus 6 and uh, 15 and now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the value of uh, radius r. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call uh, this uh, longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side uh, lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case going to be r minus uh, 9 whole square plus b is going to be r minus 6 whole square and c in our case is 15 whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply on these two 
binomials. So therefore we are going to have uh, r square minus uh, 18r plus uh, 81 plus uh, r square minus uh, 12r plus uh, 36 uh, equals to 225. And now let's go ahead and combine uh, these uh, like uh, terms on the left hand side as you can see in this uh, next step. Now let's go ahead and subtract uh, 225 from both uh, sides. This is gone. So therefore we are ended up with uh, 2r square minus uh, 30r minus 108 on the left uh, hand side equal to 0. And now we can see the left hand side is divisible by 2 across the board. So let me go ahead and divide uh, each and every term uh, by uh, 2. So therefore we are ended up with the r square minus 15r minus 54 equal to 0. And now we can see that this is our quadratic uh, equation and we are going to solve it uh, by grouping uh, and factoring. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, number 54 uh, that could be factored out to 3 times uh, 18. And if we subtract uh, these two numbers we are going to get uh, 15. So therefore we can uh, tweak this uh, middle uh, term negative 15 r could be written as uh, negative 18 r plus uh, 3 r. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this negative 15 r by this part. And now we can see we have a r in, in common between first two terms and we have a 3 in common between last two. So therefore we can write uh, r times uh, r minus 18 and here I'm going to factor out 3 and then times r minus 18 equal to 0. And now we have r minus 18 and r minus 18 in common. So therefore we can write r minus 18 times r plus 3 equal to 0. Let's go ahead and separate them. I can write r minus 18 equal to 0 and the other one is r plus 3 equal to 0. Let's focus on this first equation. Here we are going to get radius r equals to positive 18 and this uh, next equation r is going to be negative 3 and here we have a negative value of radius and we know the radius cannot be a negative number. So therefore we are going to reject this scenario where r is negative 3 and we are going to accept this r equals to 18 value. So thus our radius uh, r value turns out to be 18 uh, across uh, the board as you can see. And now let's make an observation. We can see our r value is uh, 18. So 18 minus 9 is going to give us uh, 9. This uh, line segment uh, BC. And likewise uh, this r is uh, 18 and then minus 6 is going to give us uh, 12 units. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, square OACE. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area equal to S square where S uh, represents the side length of the square. And in our case our side length uh, of this square is uh, 18. So therefore the area of this uh, square is going to be 18 whole square and that is going to be equal to 300 and 24. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, right triangle uh, B, C, D now. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times a base times a height. In our case uh, our uh, base is 9 and our height is uh, 12. So therefore the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, B, C, D is going to be a half uh, times uh, 9 times uh, 12. And if we simplify everything, uh, that is going to give us uh, 54. And finally, let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow quarter circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square. In our case, our radius uh, r is uh, 18. So therefore, the area of this uh, yellow quarter circle is going to be pi times the radius r in our case is 18 whole square and I am going to divide by 4 since we are dealing with the quarter circle. And if we simplify this thing uh, we are going to get uh, 81 
pi. So therefore, the area of this uh, yellow quarter circle turns out to be 81 pi. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, region since we figured out uh, our this uh, square area as you can see over here the area of the triangle right here and the area of this uh, yellow quarter circle over here as well so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so we are going to have a 324 minus uh, 54 minus uh, 81 pi and if we simplify everything on the right hand side we are going to get uh, 270 minus uh, 81 pi. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be a 270 minus uh, 81 pi square units and that is approximately equal to 15.53 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.